Hello friends. Today I'm giving away a free facial rig, the same facial rig I've used in the past with other characters. I mentioned it in a previous video, but I wanted to go into a little bit more detail regarding how to use it. To create the individual sliders, I followed this video by Ravy CG Tutorials, so be sure to check it out. I basically followed it exactly, and I wanted to give a shout out to another creator who did an excellent job with this tutorial. Link to the videos in the description below. Now when you open the 3D Studio Max file, this is what the rig looks like. You can duplicate the individual sliders and rotate the sliders. You can also rename them. They are all parented to the large square, so if you move the square, they all move. Now here we are with the rig next to a character with morph targets downloaded from Dash Studio. First thing you want to do is link the large square to the character's head by simply clicking the square and linking it to the head bone. So when the head turns or rotates, the rig will follow the head. Now to pair the morph targets to the sliders, first you right click on the character and select wire parameters. Click modified object and then morpher. Then select the morpher you want to link. In this case, look for the mouth open morpher. Then click on the circle, select object, then radius. The parameter wiring screen appears. On the right side where it says morph slider, Select Transform IK Control, then FK Sub Control, then Y Position. Now you scroll down on the left and make sure you see the selected morph target. Now click on the middle arrow that represents the one-way connection, then click Connect. The morph target will turn red, indicating that it is connected, and the Y Control will turn green. Now close the dialog box and check to see if it worked. Now I'm going to try another morph target, this one the Eyes Closed Morpher. Like before, click on the circle, select the object, then radius. The parameter wiring screen appears. On the right side where it says Morph Slider, Select Transform IK Control, then FK Sub Control, then Position, then Y Position. Now click on the middle arrow that represents the one-way connection, then click Connect. Now close the dialog box and let's see if it worked. To create your own morph targets, you duplicate the character and remove all the modifiers and make the changes you like. For example, I'm going to create eyes that go up and down, left and right. To do that, I duplicate the character four times and make the adjustments to the eyes. Once done, I rename the morph targets, then add them to the morph target list by clicking load multiple targets. Then I follow the same process as before.
The whole rig is available to download for free, no sign up necessary. The link is found in the description below. If you found this tutorial useful, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.